Hey y'all, this is Renee, your wealth coach. How y'all doing? I know I haven't been on here live for a minute, but y'all, I've been working. <laughs> Behind the scenes, just really trying to build wealth. And last month, April, I mean, I was just so um, excited and blessed by the kids. Um, just watching the kids go to a whole nother level um, I saw kids start businesses. I saw them taking their allowance and, uh, doubling it. And, um, I, um, they opened up savings accounts and, uh, it's just so exciting because the kids just really just took a hold and just put it to action. And so there's nothing better to see, um, <clears throat> you know, kids, uh, creating wealth. And so um, if you don't know by now, it's a family affair. Wealth building is a family affair. It doesn't have to be solely on the parents' backs. Hey, Tina, um, but your, your kids can get involved. You can teach your kids at a young age and just watch them grow and watch their money grow. And when it's time to um, go to college or purchase that first business or purchase their first home, their first car, that they have their own money. <laughs> so I'm telling you, it was really a successful month for April, uh, talking to the youth and, and just watching them uh, just expand in knowledge and watch them put the principles. Because every Saturday I did a live Zoom and the kids just really jumped on board and, and took off. So I want to talk about the month of May and uh, some things coming forth. And um, Tina, I'm thinking about, um, I was talking to Mike, just doing an, a face-to-face -face cash flow game. We haven't done that in over two years. So um, I think I want to schedule that for the month of May, uh, one Saturday this month, uh, just coming together and playing the cash flow live. We play every Sunday um, online. And um, so it's hard to go back to live because you know, we just jump on our phones and our computers and and um, play the game. And I can't tell you how much I've grown by playing the cash flow game. Um, my financial IQ has really expanded. Um, so definitely, you know, there's a purpose to my madness. So some of the things that I'm doing right now, um, uh, I own property free and clear. So I'm on a uh, mortgage uh, down payment on the condo. I'm trying to pay that off. It should be paid off in the next two years. I'm thinking about leaving a little bit of balance on there, of course, for the tax benefits. Um, but I have been diligently, um, no matter what season I'm in, whether it's you know a high time, hey, Pam, or it's low time, I, I noticed that I've stayed consistent and paying myself first. I stay consistent in um, money automatically. When I get my check, money automatically goes into my investments. And so I've stayed um, faithful and consistent. And so um, during COVID, I mean, the only thing that had happened for me is that my desk moved from the office to home and um, you know, I just stayed, you know, that's when I started really building the Kingdom Mayors platform and uh, just growing that. And so I just kept my head focused. And so and that's one of the ways that I've successfully started winning the cash flow game is that I stay focused. I don't uh, concentrate on the other players and what they're doing. I just stay focused. Um, and so I do that in real life. And so um, I think for the month of May, um for the book clubs just pulling out books the abc of real estate investing um real estate riches i'm not sure which book yet and 101 ways to uh massively increase the value of your real estate so um that's another thing that i'm doing is that the properties that i have just really putting some money back in and, and just you know you got to maintain your properties and so that's one of the things you don't hear a lot about you know 
There's people that will talk you into to the investments, but if you don't get the knowledge and the experience, I'm telling you, <laughs> there's many times where I almost lost the shirt off my back, but again, just staying consistent. Um, so now I want to do some upgrades in my properties because the rents are going higher, uh, property values are increasing. And I know it's all about, about the inflation, but um, you don't want to be a slumlord. At least I don't want to be a slumlord. Um, I want to make sure that the properties that I have are places that um, I would live and raise my family. And so um, you do want to make sure that you keep increasing the value of your property. And so there's 101 ways to do it. And um, I've shared some of these. If you look down at some of the videos, um, share some of those ways to increase uh, the value of your property. Um, and one thing that I've noticed too, um, through my experience is that I have long-term tenants. Like my tenants um, are not on a year-to-year -year lease. You can offer, when you own the property, you can offer, uh, you can color outside the line. So the tenant I have now, she signed up for one year. And then um, after being there for one year, it was time to renew her lease. Hey, I offered her a two-year uh, lease. So uh, by signing the lease, I did increase the rent, but I locked her in at that. She knew that the second year, her rent would not increase. And so she signed a two-year lease. And so um, I've had eight-year uh, tenants. Um, people, uh, you know, the, the, back to the adding value to your property, all of my tenants wanted to buy the properties that they were renting from me. And so when they want to own the property, they take better care of the property. And so um, there again, the other thing I wanted to uh, pose to you guys, um, what I do is um, I get coins, silver and gold coins. Right now I'm buying more silver than I am gold because of the price, but they work the same way. You know, you have to find uh, what connects you to things. So like, for instance, I buy silver and gold, but what my connection is to crypto is that it works like silver and gold where it's it's a currency. So I can actually buy my gold and silver coins and I'm not showing them today because I'm getting ready to do a video because I have three new coins coming in the mail. And so I want to do a video on that. But if enough of us are interested in purchasing gold and silver, um, the more coins you buy, the cheaper you purchase those coins at. But one thing about gold and silver, A, they uh, never lose their value. Like the dollar loses its value, <laughs> but not the gold and silver. They still use silver to make cars, to make computers. They still need silver. So um, the price of silver, uh, oh, let me see, I'm on my phone. I think it's like $20 uh, for an ounce of silver. But when you buy the right type of coin, it increases in value. Like I have a dollar, a silver dollar, and it's worth over $100. So it's a way to multiply, turn your cash into profit. And so um, when you get rare coins, like that's a rare coin, there's people that will pay top dollar depending on how well the coin has been kept. So um, we'll talk about that later to see if we can uh, create a club, like definitely a savings club, definitely um, a coin club uh, to whereas like I buy a coin, you know, you can set a goal for yourself. You could buy uh, a coin every three months or buy a coin a month. Or um, so at the end of the year, you have 12 coins. And so, um, like I said, I'm going to do a video, show you how I store my coins. And like now I've, I have a safe that I keep my coins in. Um, and then as you begin to take action, um, believe it or not, like when I started buying real estate, or even buying stocks or buying the coins and just talking about it, you'll find that the person you sit next to at work is a coin collector or a real estate investor, been doing it for years. You'll find 
people will start to come to you and provide the help that you need to take your uh, investments to the next level. So really, uh, the, the goal for this year was taking our money and multiplying it because God gives us the resources and it's up to us to multiply it, not to bury it, but to multiply the money to whereas um, you'll know how to turn that money around. And then that way you'll never have a broke day again in your life. I got my notes over here to the side. So um, check, we talked about um, the books for the month and we're going to uh, focus on real estate. Um, thinking about scheduling a, a face to face cash flow game. This month is small business month. Um, but I did do a, a lot of, uh, talking about small businesses last month. Um, so there's some videos out there. Um, the girl that did the t-shirt video last month, she took a step-by-step -step on how to set up a business. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to come on here and, uh, just get us updated. Um, even when you don't see me live on the video, just know that I'm behind the scenes working. I'm building wealth. Um, and like last, like I said, building wealth could be a family affair. And so if each person in your family is generating and contributing to the wealth, that's what legacy is all, ab all about, is that everyone is pitching in and taking the wealth to the next generation. And so I thank you for joining me. Um, if you have some questions for me, I definitely will answer some questions. I'm so excited. So yeah, I'm in the process of paying off. Uh, I have a, a condo. I only owe like $24,000 on it. I have another house that's already paid uh, in full. And then the profit from that house and then paying off the condo, the rent from there will pay this house off. And so, because I'm close to retirement, and so I don't want to have that hanging over my head. I don't want to pass debt down to um, my family members. But definitely, when you have tenants, the tenants pay the expenses. And so, um, my daughter is in training, <laughs> so uh, she'll know how to continue on the legacy after I'm gone. And so, um, yeah. I'm excited living in the overflow and just giving back to the community as well. Um, so last night, last month where we sponsored 50 kids to open up a savings account, you know, we'll, we want to keep that going. We want to keep that going because that's my why, you know, while I'm here on earth, I want to be able to uh, give back. And so, but I see you guys don't have any questions for me. And um, for those that are watching the replay, by all means, don't hesitate to uh, ask any question. But for the month of May, we're going to focus on real estate. Um, we're going to talk more about uh, if you want to uh, join me in uh, ordering coins to add to your... Uh, the whole point of this is to build a portfolio, a portfolio of a business, real estate, um, of assets and some assets like right now my coins are not cash flowing assets so just knowing the difference of uh things that you can add to your personal uh portfolio and you'll know which ones are assets you'll know which ones are um cash flow like real estate is the cash flow it adds money to your pocket every month and so i'm gonna say goodbye for now See you on the next Wealth Chat.